Congress. So, before President Trump took office, did his incoming national security advisor, retired General Michael Flynn, reach out to Russia to tell them, hey, don't worry about these sanctions that President Obama is putting in place. Flynn and Vice President Pence and the Trump team first said no. Sanctions were never mentioned when Flynn talked to the Russian ambassador. They said adamantly, indignantly, no. But now, in a major scoop from the Washington Post that is corroborated by multiple current and former government sources who were listening in on the Russian ambassador's phone, it seems like there's a different answer. Today, Flynn says he cannot recall if he discussed sanctions. Behind the smokescreen of falsehoods from the Trump White House on this issue are continued questions about the curious relationship between the White House and the Kremlin. One Democratic member of the House Intelligence Committee today tweeting, quote, the arrows continue to point in just one direction. Russian hacking helped President Trump win, and the president's team may have broken the law to return the favor. A bombshell out of Washington today. Nine current and former government officials told the Washington Post that National Security Advisor Michael Flynn discussed U.S. sanctions against Russia with Russia's ambassador before taking office, despite both Flynn and the White House insisting that was not the case. Sources tell CNN the communications occurred in December, just as the Obama administration was announcing retaliatory sanctions against Russia for interfering with U.S. elections. We can do stuff to you. Some officials were actually characterizing what, what was said in the calls, right? It's not just, oh, that this subject came up. It is Flynn was conveying a signal here, a clear signal to the Russian ambassador. Don't overreact to these sanctions the Obama team is announcing. We're going to have time to revisit this later. Sources told the Washington Post the private conversations between Flynn and Russia's Sergei Kislyak were explicit contradictions to President Obama's actions. But this is what Vice President Mike Pence told CBS. What I can confirm, having spoken to him about it, is that those conversations that happened to occur around the time uh, that the United States uh, took, took action to expel diplomats um, had nothing whatsoever to do with those sanctions. That forceful denial turns out to be false. Did the vice president know he was repeating a falsehood? Or did General Flynn lie to Pence? Vice President Pence's office today said the reports are a problem they will get to the bottom of, adding that the vice president had only conveyed what he had been told, creating tension between Flynn and Pence, seen here earlier today. And here's what Sean Spicer had to say about Flynn's call with the Russian ambassador. The call centered around the logistics of setting up a call with the president of Russia and the president-elect. They exchanged logistical information on how to initiate and, and schedule that call. That was it, plain and simple. Flynn himself denied the contents of the call when asked Wednesday by the Post. He was adamant. He said no. In fact, he said no twice. We asked him, did you ever discuss this subject with the Russian ambassador? No, was the answer. Uh, and then the answer changed the next day. But an aide close to Flynn now tells CNN his boss, quote, can't rule it out that they discuss the sanctions. The shocking revelations also might shed light on the likely reason Vladimir Putin did not retaliate against the Obama sanctions. That's been past practice. And you have to wonder whether, uh, in fact, he was told, hold off, don't do anything. Soon after Putin's decision in December, then-President-elect Trump tweeted, great move on delay by Vladimir Putin. I always knew he was very smart. Was Putin being smart, or did he just have information the rest of us did not?